If we could travel 600,000 years into the past, we would discover a radically different world, populated by astonishing creatures, but also by a human species that wasn't so different from us. Homo heidelbergensis is not just an obscure ancient species lost in history. It is the link that connected our past and future, making the emergence of both Neanderthals and Homo sapiens possible. But how did this transformation happen? How did Homo heidelbergensis give rise to two species that, despite their similarities, had completely different destinies? The answer lies in the places where their remains have been found and the stories they tell us. A journey across three continents. Over the decades, fossils of Homo heidelbergensis have been discovered all over the world, and each archaeological site has provided new clues about who these people were and what role they played in human evolution. Africa is where our entire story began, and Homo heidelbergensis was no exception. One of the most significant sites is Kabwe, Broken Hill, Zambia, where an astonishingly well-preserved skull was found. What's fascinating about it? It has features that are intermediate between Homo erectus and Homo sapiens suggesting that this individual belonged to a population on the very edge of evolving into our species. Another crucial site is Bodo, Ethiopia, where a skull dating back 600,000 years was discovered. What's truly shocking? This skull has cut marks made by stone tools, raising a chilling question. Was Homo heidelbergensis the first to practice burial rituals or even cannibalism? In Europe, Homo heidelbergensis was particularly well represented. Most discoveries indicate that populations here gradually evolved into Neanderthals, adapting to the harsh climates of the Ice Age. One incredible site is Cima de los Huesos, Spain, where over 6,000 bone fragments belonging to at least 28 individuals have been found. DNA analysis has revealed that these people had more Neanderthal-like features than Homo sapiens traits suggesting that this may have been the transition point from Homo heidelbergensis to Neanderthals. In Germany, near Mauer, close to Heidelberg, the jawbone that gave the species its name was discovered. It is one of the most impressive fossils, being incredibly robust and lacking a chin, a typical feature of archaic humans. Additionally, in France and England, particularly at Boxgrove, Archaeologists discovered footprints left by Homo heidelbergensis nearly 500,000 years ago. This is an astonishing detail. These footprints provide us with a direct window into the past, a moment when an individual walked through the mud, unaware that their steps would be found half a million years later. Although Homo heidelbergensis is better known in Europe and Africa, remains have also been found in Asia. In China, at the Dali site, a skull was discovered that exhibits Heidelbergensis-like features, but also characteristics reminiscent of Homo sapiens. This has led researchers to wonder, could Homo heidelbergensis also be the ancestor of the mysterious Denisovans? This could explain why certain modern populations in Asia and Oceania have traces of Denisovan DNA, but no Neanderthal DNA. Could Homo heidelbergensis be the key to this genetic mystery? One of the biggest evolutionary leaps in human history is the control of fire, and Homo heidelbergensis appears to have been among the first to use it regularly. Archaeological evidence from African sites indicates the presence of fire pits dating back nearly 700,000 years, where these early humans cooked their food and kept warm on cold nights. But what exactly did they eat? Here's where things get truly fascinating. Homo heidelbergensis was not an ordinary hunter. This prehistoric human managed to take down colossal prey that even today would be difficult to hunt without modern weapons. In Germany, at the Schöningen site, Archaeologists discovered the oldest wooden spears ever found, dating back 300,000 years. These weapons, perfectly balanced, show that these people weren't just throwing stones or using sharpened sticks at random. They developed a sophisticated hunting technique. And now, listen to this incredible detail. At the same site, 
Researchers found fossils of prehistoric horses with clear signs of butchering, proving that Homo heidelbergensis worked in organized teams to take down prey. Exactly like modern humans, but thousands of years earlier. Another fascinating fact about Homo heidelbergensis is that they might have been the first humans to construct permanent shelters. In France, at Terra Amata, archaeologists discovered traces of circular dwellings, built with wooden supports and stones, suggesting that these people were no longer solely cave dwellers, but actually built their own homes. This is a huge discovery. Before Homo heidelbergensis, no other human species seemed to have attempted such a thing. Why? Because this requires planning, organization, and an advanced way of thinking. Around 400,000 years ago, Homo heidelbergensis began to split into two main branches. In Europe, the harsh conditions of the Ice Age selected individuals who were more robust, with elongated skulls and pronounced brow ridges, the direct ancestors of Neanderthals. In Africa, Homo heidelbergensis evolved in a different direction, becoming more graceful, more intelligent, and more innovative. Around 300,000 years ago, this lineage gave rise to Homo sapiens, the species that would come to dominate the planet. This is the moment where past and present merge. Homo heidelbergensis did not simply vanish, it lives on within us. Its DNA was passed down to both Neanderthals and modern humans, and its traces can still be found in our bones, in our genetic structure, and in our very existence. And now comes the big question. If Homo heidelbergensis managed to give rise to such a powerful and intelligent species, who knows what else could have happened if they had survived? Have you made it this far? Then you need to know something important. Subscribe. 99% of people who watch these documentaries are not subscribed to the channel. If you've stayed with me until now, it means this topic fascinates you just as much as it fascinates me to create it for you. It's free, takes just a second, and helps me tremendously to continue creating high-quality content for you. See you on the next expedition into the past.